there's a, quite an effort to keep the cost down on the show. No matter how big it looks, you know, there's, it's like it can always, it's always too expensive. And we, Dragon Slayer had been pretty expensive to do the go motion stuff and that. And we were looking for another way to do this sort of creatures that were, that were cheaper. And we thought about, I think we thought about rod puppets. But we wanted to try, George wanted to try, and we thought, okay, we'll give it a try. This guy, a guy in a suit, if we can make the suit interesting enough. So Phil Tippett came up with an interesting idea where you've got, I think there's a person in the middle of the suit, but you've got another guy on the, on the left and another whose right arm is in the, and the guy on the right whose left arm is in it. And if you can mat all those people out, you get a, you get a, a shape, a moving shape that is nothing that a person could ever do in a suit. So it would look a lot more unique and interesting. But it didn't quite make it. You know, it, it, when it was all said and done, it still looked like it didn't move right. It's got all the problems with, with sort of, uh, you know, care, with, with big suit things that, that have to react to gravity and, and things that are just like tip-offs to, uh, you know, they're like Muppets. They're like just big Muppets. And people are so used to what those type of puppets look like that, you know, because you, you're playing with them from the time you're a year old, that you just can't fool people and that stuff. So instead we went with the rod puppets and we made a, a figure probably about this tall, about 18 inches. And it was all worked from below. The head and all was cable actuated from below. The arms were controlled from around the elbows going out below. It was in a miniature set with uh, probably about four or five puppeteers and, you know, and the camera guys. We were just like jammed right up against it, shooting it. And we did it uh, sort of as a live action shoot. Uh, we shot high speed though. Sometimes we shot backwards. Anything that we could do to get it away from that, again, that sort of Muppet, rod puppet look. And, uh, you know, we'd go, so I think there were maybe a couple of scenes that were shot under cranked also, whatever we could do. And, and then Mark was pretty much either split screened in to it with, from the set done over in England, where he was blue screened into the foreground on that. So there's a lot of cheats in that shot, I mean, in that sequence. And if you, you know, you don't ever quite see the whole character and you don't see it quite walking, but for the film and for that point in it, you know, it was just, you know, it was fine for it. And it didn't really need to show any more than what it did.